Hi, and welcome to this quick demonstration of Excolibur Obsidian 1.6.18. At the end, I have two small surprises for you, so if you stick around, you get to see the bonus as well. So what's new? The eraser is new. This was developed by the Excolidraw team and this is great on an iPad. The way it works is you click the eraser and then you can select elements to erase and they are going to be removed from your drawing. Right now it can only erase complete elements, not individual parts or not parts of elements, but this is a great start. Second, I've implemented a default for the transcluded text line wrap. So if you look at this transclusion right now, I have this quote about commitment. And earlier you had to set a line wrap length like this at the end of your transclusion. And that influenced where the line breaks are inserted by Excolidraw. Now you can set a default in settings. So let me show you how that looks like. If I come to Excolidraw and I come down here to the links and transclusions, then under here I can set the transclusion word wrap default and for me it's set to 40. Then I have a new command palette action for going to full screen mode. This is great when you want to uh, use your keyboard to go to full screen mode. Otherwise, you can always use the uh, tools panel here to go to full screen mode or even up here you can click the full screen button. Then uh, I've implemented left-handed mode and this only works in tray mode. So you can see I am in tray mode. You can switch between train mode, tray mode and normal mode uh, with the tools panel. And when you're in train mode, then in Excolidraw settings under display, you can choose the left-handed mode and you can see here in the background that in left-handed mode, the tray moves to the right hand side and normally it is on the left hand side so you can set where it is so it's less in your way and finally i implemented lots of new features around the file name setting and the way this works is if you come here to settings under file name now you have this whole long list of different settings and you can see the file name here so for example my file name normally starts with Excolidraw, but I could also add maybe two exclamation marks here. And then you can see that my default file name changes like that. I can also uh, delete this date and time from my file name if you don't like the date and time. And then Excolidraw will automatically add a sequence number. And also when you're embedding Excolidraw into a drawing, so you're using the create a new drawing and embed into active file, then you can set Excolidraw to use the name of the note that you're uh, embedding into. So that's the note name here and you can add a part of the file name after this so maybe I'm going to put here Xcolid raw and like that this is going to be my file name whatever my note name and then Xcolid raw and then the date also I've added this option that you can exclude the dot Xcolid raw from the end of the file name so it could be if I turn this setting on, it can be .xcolidraw.md or it can be just .md. This is all up to you how you like to do this. And then I have under the fixed features, uh, there was an issue with the tray mode when you were editing a, a sticky note and this is text in my sticky note. Uh, previously, when you selected this text, so you want to color it black, for example. Now, this didn't work. Now it works, so that's great. And I also fixed iframely, which you can uh, enable in settings. What this does is when you drop a link into Excolidraw, it will retrieve the 
some data about the page and will automatically provide an alias for the web page. So you can set this in settings under the transclusion settings. So you see links and transclusions. And here you can set to use iframely to resolve page titles. Now this works. Previously it didn't work so reliably. And the now for the two bonuses, one is the way you can draw Bayesian curves on an iPad is you take your two fingers and you you select the uh, line element and then you first tap with your two fingers and then one by one you can add points to your drawing and at the end you need to touch on the bottom left side there's a tick mark to finalize your Bayesian curve and with that you can create very quickly a nice Bezier curve on an iPad. And the other one is I want to show you this nice trick that uh, I learned about this week and that is about animated GIFs. So if I have this drawing and I have this animated GIF of this jumping monkey, so let me show you what you can do. Uh, I can drag this image here, not like this, but I need to drag and hold down the control key on a Mac. You need to hold down the shift key and you can drop the image in here. And now when I switch over to a markdown document there, I've embedded this drawing. So you can see this is my, the name of my drawing. Then the animated GIF will be animated so you can create nice animated Excolidrol drawings uh, for your vault. So that's all for today. I hope you like these changes. Enjoy Excolidrol. Thank you.